Hello and welcome to this short video on using NHS Service Finder. This video covers how to log on and search for services once you've registered for an account. So in your web browser address bar type in finder.directoryofservices.nhs.uk and log in entering the email address and password that you use to register with. You'll see that there are three different ways of searching for services on NHS Service Finder. So let's start by searching for a type of service first. This is useful for finding or comparing a range of services in a particular location and understanding what's available in an area where you don't know the service name or address. I can type all here and I can see a list of all the service types that I could use in a search. But let's say, for example, I'm working out of area and I'm looking for a full service. You'll notice that services with similar capabilities are showing, so choose as many of these as you like to broaden the search. Now I can use either my current location here or I can enter a location. Now, if your patient is registered with a GP, enter the details here if you know them, as this may increase the number of services available to the patient. However, this field is optional. So whether or not you entered the patient's GP details, you can now see on the left hand side of the screen a list of all the services that match the search criteria. And on the right hand side, you can see important service information uh, that can help you direct your patient appropriately. You'll notice that each service has an indicator to state whether it's open or closed and clicking on the open now uh, link filters your results, which is particularly useful as I'm currently searching out of normal office hours. You'll see in the service details here, I can click to show map. And this will show me the map with directions and transport options for the service that can be emailed along with the service information direct to the patient by using the button at the bottom of the screen. So now let's search for a specific service. And this is useful for checking details of a particular service where you know part of the name or the address. So I found the pharmacy that I was looking for there, but I could widen my search by simply typing pharmacy Banstead instead. And now I can see two results, two different results to choose from, and I can pick the one that I need. Okay, finally, let's search using clinical keywords and this is useful where you want to search for services that can treat a specific medical condition. You'll notice that this is marked as alpha which means it's a new search function and may not be available in all areas. Now this time, I don't know if the patient is registered with a GP or not, so I'm going to select no. And 
And now only services that are clinically capable of treating the specific condition will appear in the results. And in this case, as I've searched with fracture of the ankle, this means services that have x-ray facilities. So thank you for watching this short video explaining how to search for services on NHS Service Finder. For further assistance, contact the NHS Digital Help Desk, exeter.helpdesk at nhs.net or telephone 0300 303 4034